Hello Golf Pass, Martin Hall coming to you with a way to think about how to start the downswing that initially you might be a bit of a shock to you and I've got a way of having you feel it, I've got a way of having me measure it, knowing what the best players do. Look, a lot of players, we know this, a lot of players go to the top and they sort of throw the club from the top and because they throw the club from the top, they throw the club out from the top, they think, I know, I'll pull this imaginary rope out of the sky, I'll, I'll pull down. We've even heard really good players say, you know, you pull it down from the top. Okay, you're listening? No, you don't. You don't want to do that at all. Um, the feeling, as Homer Kelly said many years ago, actually would be that once you've got to the top, imagine this, imagine this club was an arrow and it was in a quiver that's hanging on my back. And the initial direction of the downswing should be as if you were taking an arrow out of a quiver. That's the initial feel, as if I was going to gently throw the club in that direction. It's moving, target's over there. Martin's moving his club over there. That can't be right. Yes, it is right. And I think the idea for many, the idea of actually taking, I'll do it this way, taking an arrow out of a quiver for a lot of people is a great way. Now, as you're taking the arrow out of the quiver, you're actually moving your body as you do that, so your right arm is unfolding. That in and of itself is a great thought to have if you know you're a handle puller on the downswing. I'll tell you what else is great, being able to measure it, yes. So I've got the D-Wiz sensor on my lead wrist. We've never been able to measure this with simplicity. It is quite staggering really. And I'm going to hit one here, and I'm going to show you something that's bad. Something that regrettably is very easy for me to do, and it's bad. And it's going to be where I pull the club down too quickly. And we're going to look at a number called the IDDY, the initial downswing direction y-axis. IDD, initial downswing direction. It needs to be that way with a full swing, not this way. So this one I'm going to do wrong on purpose. And I'm going to have a look at the IDDY number here. And I can see on this computer my IDDY number was negative 9.5. Remember that. Let's just round it up. Negative, negative 10. So I pull that down, negative 10. Uh, there'd be no good player who does that. But it's really hard to feel it, it's really hard to sense it, it's very hard to measure it. But watch the difference, look at the difference in that number, which makes me a better hitter of the golf ball, if I think of, from the top, taking the arrow out of the quiver, and my feeling was, as one of my teachers told me many years ago, it's as if you've got a dart in your trail hand, and there's a dartboard over there, and you, for the boys in England, you're throwing some arrows, you're throwing some arrows down there. Triple 20. It's away from you. So let's see if I can change my IDDY. Here we go. Obviously that was a much better shot. And my IDDY, oh yes you little beauty, 20.6. Now that's 30 degrees difference. 30 degrees difference. Uh, really hard to show you on video really hard to get you to feel it, very helpful with some technology, very helpful too with the thought of just pushing an arrow. I mean technology is great but you need the thought to sort of activate it all, that's for sure. So pushing the arrow out of the quiver, but if you measured it your IDDY, your initial downswing direction, you want it to be a positive number that's telling you that you're doing what the best players in the world are doing. If this number is negative, your mood will be negative. It won't be good. So look at the DWIS product. I think it's a fantastic product. So many of the good players in the world are using it. It's really going to help you play better. And take that arrow out of that quiver and see how much better you drive the golf ball.